You out of pocket. Huh. Two ATMs, you step in the what? You out of pocket. Huh. Who you think they talk about? Talk about us. You Shoo. out of pocket. Shoo. Who you think they cover your cover your bus? The world in a panic, the women is stranded, the men on the run. The profits are vanished, the law take advantage, the market is crashing, the industry won. To sleep in the box while they making a mockery following us. This ain't monopoly watching for love. This ain't monogamy, y'all get it. Jumping on what the hell is that? I gotta relax when I feel. Community feel they're the only ones relevant. Oh. It's week four of the National Football League, and we'll be watching the Falcons' sure-handed wide receiver. He made some history last week, passing Flipper Anderson's 1989 mark of 336 yards. It's the Falcons and the Browns, and it comes your way next. The weather this time of year in the South, perfect fall football weather. And we've got the roof wide open here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. Today, it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Cleveland Browns and the Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. CD, you look at the Falcons in this matchup. Their offense is a unit that's not afraid to take chances out there, but not always for the better. What do you see them trying to do here? I think they'll continue to take those chances, Brandon, but to me, they have to do it in a measured way. And what I mean by that, they can't just come into a game and throw caution to the wind and just say we're going to run a bunch of gadget plays, a lot of reverses, end arounds, all of those things. They've got to identify the spots where they want those plays to pay off. A good gain on first, has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Play action now, Mariota. Going down the middle and it's complete. Foul before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Yeah, it's been a good start to the season for him. He's still kind of getting used to a new terminology, new playbook, new quarterback, you name it. But he's certainly... On play action, Mariota. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. And the Browns over his last three halves of football, because remember, he threw three picks last week. Start advantage of it with good play, or have they not prepared well, thinking they'll never get on the field, and they'll go out there and hurt their team. Throwing again on second down. Mariota got a man over the middle, and it's complete. The play is he can go over the top of you and catch it, catch it in front, turn it into a big game, run past you, and then uses his size and his physical abilities to keep you away from the football. Hard to defend this guy. Reigning NFC Offensive Player of the Week. On first and ten, here's Mariota. Going down the middle, and it's complete. Yes, but it is a first down. Mariota to throw it. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all. It's a great opportunity for the third-year man who was an excellent deep threat in limited opportunities with Las Vegas. He averaged 17 yards per catch over 45 per receptions in his first two seasons. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? The first down throw for Mariota. Going down the middle, and it's complete. For good yardage. Mariota now to throw on first down. And it's caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important. Three, three, three. Beginning on the ground with Patterson. 
They'll be dropped and it'll wind up a first down. Now Mariota. Throwing left side, it's complete. A well executed 22 yard gain. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, here's opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Looking left side and it's complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 27-yard line. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down that they would be looking his way, and they did. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll They've been aggressive airing it out all game long and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage, though, two plays in a row, and that one falls incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Mariota. And down now as they search for a consolation score. They'll throw again. Mariota. And this is caught. Well, they get one back, picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. He's got them out to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you can just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after turnover. <laughs> As this game unfolded, we'll head home next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they'll drop down to one and three. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucs. I'm liberated. I drew a play that they ain't illustrated. I make a move they gladly imitate it. I ain't flattered. I'm a dragon to your paper castle. The Alpha and Omega promise it ain't nothing after. A new beginning. My catalog like James Earl Jones to ever living. Imagine if I did make beats that's more for killing. Imagine if you come from the side by my city. You probably wouldn't make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day, I got extras on the way. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. Ain't no mileage of foreign dollars configured. A road I travel, don't grab it, it's probably baffling. Labels scribble on paper, they want to shackle it. I own my masters and roars, as you can't raffle it. Wrist drip like a mango, fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles. Without a tango, tailor made, walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a break. I go extra for the fam, I go extra for the cake, I got extras on the plate. It's week five of the National Football League, and we'll be watching the Falcons' sure-handed wide receiver. He had a touchdown last week, the cherry on top of a ton of yardage. It's the Falcons and the Bucks coming up next. Still a bit warm here in Florida, but really all things considered, a wonderful fall afternoon for football here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. Today we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Atlanta Falcons and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, this is a matchup, folks. Well, they're excited about this one, and for good reason. We got two offenses that are operating at extremely high levels. No question about it, Brandon. This is not a matchup that you get that often. We're going to see the number one and number two offenses in the entire NFL on the same field. I'd hate to be one of these defensive coordinators. We know that more than likely, they've had a few sleepless nights getting ready for this one. And we're definitely going to see some points put up on the board. On first and ten, here's Mariota. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. Yeah, this will... 
and sometimes you just read a hitch route way too fast. You get there before you're supposed to, and there's the penalty. The throw over the middle, taken in. It's a big play there for Atlanta, and even 50 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one. Well, the last time they had the football, fortunate that it only led to a field goal. 3-0 the score as they start first and 10. Now Mariota. Open man is Kyle Pitts. is tight end. In completion here now, third and two. On play action, Mariota. And he comes back with one complete. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Got a man and he hits him in stride. On third down, Mariota. This is caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. No goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And they deliver there as that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set him up with a first two. He's on the docket beginning tonight in the AFC North with the Bengals and Ravens from Baltimore at 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday Night Football, Raiders and Chiefs from Arrowhead in the AFC West. Play fake, Mariota, rolling to his left. And they'll get him dead. Block, block, block. On second and 10, Mariota, wide open receiver complete. And this is going to lead. From the red zone now, Mariota. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Ethan. the toes inbounds. The Falcons on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five at this point. This is third down and 12. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open. TD. Excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think. To the air again, Mariota. And it's incomplete. Man, out of the backfield a week ago, they got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that it'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. In First down, Mariota. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. He's able to knock that one away. They go play action. Mariota. Throwing left side, it's complete. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that. And a box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. They'll throw again. Mariota. Going down the middle, and it's complete and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Now Mariota. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Their coverage 
has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Devin White, the linebacker. Yard line. Well, Brent, as they say in popular culture, this, this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw Mariota. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. This play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's a gain of 35. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well, no matter how one riffs. They to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Wide open receiver complete. On first and ten, here's Mariota. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Mariota in Atlanta dealing with the third and long. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Gonna throw right side here, complete. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On third and one, here's Mariota. Oh, there's that gun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they picked up the first down. And he's going to be all down. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation. Now, one incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. On third down, Mariota. Looking left side, and it's complete. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Tampa Bay, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco. You got to choose, make a choice. I need a hundred pack for my boys. Deep, be hating and talking and talking and hating. I bet you I kill the noise. I've been a man like I'm painting. I boost up my rating. You know how I play with toys. Pop out on any occasion. Get standing on bases. They can't help it but rejoice. They all want to fight. Cause I got my foot on the opposition neck and ain't no apologies Honey, y'all, you know I own all the property Daddy told me, no, I own all the property You gotta choose You like the top or you just like to lose Make a move Then at the bottom I got to prove You gotta choose You like the top or you just like to lose Make a move Then at the bottom I got to prove You gotta choose You like the top or you just like to lose Make a move Then at the bottom I got to I am a force I harbor the light that's inside of my heart I write in my art and give you my story You the witness I came on a mission to give you my pain